early morning and you may be able to hear the birds chirping, maybe a few cars, and uh, it's just kind of a quiet moment. This week, we are um, entertaining our grandchildren, keeping them busy. We have lots, we have some plans. We're planning to um, uh, go to a place called Fun Warehouse where they can skate. And uh, of course we have, a, we have a beautiful park here. And um, so that has tons and tons and tons of things for kids to do. So they're going to um, have a chance to go. It's one of their hangouts that they like. And uh, we're going to uh, take the time to uh, spend some hours there. And uh, hopefully they'll get wore out. You know, that's, that's the main thing. I want them to work hard so they will go to sleep at night easily. And uh, that's my philosophy. Wear them out and they'll, they'll, they'll sleep nicely at night. And uh, so anyway, this week we haven't done a lot of cooking, to be honest with you, because we've gone out to dinner for three nights. And uh, in between those nights, we hit one night of leftovers because kids love chili and they wanted chili for two nights. And um, we actually did a beef stroganoff the first uh, first night on Monday, and uh, they wiped wiped it totally out. I thought I had enough, you know, to have some leftovers, but that wasn't the case. So we uh, we took care of that, had that with the salad, and just enjoyed. This is this is always a time that we really enjoy uh, during the summer is to be able to have our grandkids here. And uh, while um, I wash, and I wash, and I wash, and I wash clothes at least two, two times a day, two loads a day, um, it is, uh, it, it's a lot of fun. I think it's a blessing. I'm hoping that um, they will make great memories with us. And when we're gone to the great beyond, then... Um, they will be able to remember me, me and Papa, and things that they've done during the summer. So, uh, without further ado, you'll see our uh, tentative plan for our meal. And uh, you may even see some changes that took place with the meal. Because remember, I told you that uh, they have their own, own mind about what they want during the week. And while I may put together a plan... I may have to white it out, cross it out, or whatever, and move it to, to another day. So, uh, without further ado, let's enjoy this week. Skating is always such fun. Today, South Carolina went back to school, so there's absolutely no school children, and they have the entire skating rink to themselves, other than the fellow who just kind of watches and makes sure no one hurts themselves. So he's out there practicing, and uh, my crew is slowly finding their way around the rink. Fun day. Now this chili is going to be slow cooked. And I have in here about a pound and a half to two pounds of uh, ground beef. And I did an 80% uh, percent lean, 20% fat, uh, just because that just happened to be what was on sale for this week. But anyway, I have, it's been cooked. You'll see that it's rather juicy. That's because I added an entire box of uh, beef broth, which I like. So now I'm going to add that onion that I cut up. I'm going to put that in there. And 
haven't put any salt or pepper in yet until I get everything in there because some of the items that are going in have quite a bit of salt so I don't want to over season I'd rather have a little bit less and have to add so the next thing I have in there uh, I think that I'll add will be the tomatoes I'm going to add a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes kids love tomatoes good tomato eaters mix that Sorry if you're having a little bit of trouble. I've got the dishwasher going in the background. I think I'll turn that down for just a second. Okay, that'll make it a little easier. Okay, I've got the, the tomatoes in. Now I'm going to add the chili um, beans. May have to get a spatula. This one. A little thick. Now, here we go. Small wooden spoon. I'm going to mix those pretty good. Look at how that looks. You know, it's all about consistency, what it looks like, how thick it is. I like it a little thick, but not overly thick. Okay, that's in. I'm going to add that second can of beans. Now, I have not added anything hot as of yet. Because I want to be a little careful with that. Okay, that's pretty good consistency. Now, I always like adding one of these packets, and I've done this for years, add the French's, this is it with the top now, not cut off, but this is the French's Chilio. Just sprinkle a little, a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit on there. <coughs> and uh, sometimes you need a second pack, but we'll see how this goes. That's looking good. I'm going to put the green chilies in because they've got a certain amount of heat. If Papa really needs a lot more heat, then he'll have to pull out the, the pepper sauce or hot sauce. <clears throat> Now, I'm going to add some chili pepper. I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to add about a quarter, uh, I'm going to say about an eighth of a cup of cumin. Because we like that smoky flavor. And see how that goes. You know, let's get some of those spices in. And about the same amount, really, of chili powder. Chili powder is not quite as intense as it usually, well, as it could be. It just depends on what kind of chili powder that you get. If you go to a specialty store, then you can get a real variety of chilies and peppers and all those good things in a powder form but I just went to Walmart and uh, so here we go now at this point I'm going to need to check for the salt because it's going to need to cook a little while to really see what the pepper level is so I'm going to get a little spoon for 
testing. Seeing where we are. Hmm. That's not bad. I think it needs a little more chili powder. So you might as well say I used about a fourth a cup of chili powder. And I think I'm going to throw a little bit more cumin in just because I like it. So let's say we had a fourth a cup of cumin. All right, let's put the tops back. Give it a good stir. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon at this point of salt. I think it needs just a little. Give it another stir. Another spoon. And let's taste one more time. Oh, that's good. Now, this is going to sound like a strange ingredient, but I always give my tomatoey dishes one good gulp of tomato ketchup and that's what we're going to do now this bottle of tomato ketchup was just about down at the end and i added just enough water in it to loosen it up a little bit i'm going to pour all of that in this just takes some of the acidic bitter and bitterness off your chili it gives it a good taste doesn't doesn't over sweeten it in fact it won't be sweet at all but um, we want to make sure that is just right so when I turn this down and let it simmer it's going to be perfect now later, some of my little ones like rice, some of them like spaghetti, and some of them just like the chili by itself. So we'll let them decide whichever it is that they want to add to it, and uh, then we'll go from there when it's time for dinner. So it's about to get snuggled in with a nice top, and uh, I hope to remember to bring you back and to see us serve it up. So have a great day.